What's happening guys, it's Stu Trial Talk here. Um, this video is called Get Serious. But before we get stuck into it, are you a plasterer? Are you self-employed? If so, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Um, and also join the Facebook group, Trial Talk Plasterers Help Group on Facebook. So Trial Talk's been put together for you, basically. So it's set up for self-employed spreads. And the idea is if you're struggling in any area, so let's say you're on a job and you've got issues with a job, things ain't going right or you're a bit stuck, you can jump onto the group, put a post out there and you'll find someone that can help you out. Okay. But we also cover a lot of off the tools issues. So obviously being self-employed, running your own business, it can get a bit intense sometimes. It can get a bit overwhelming, a bit stressful especially when work starts uh, running a bit thin on the ground. So we cover a lot of things like um, non-payers, late payers, um, marketing issues. How do you generate leads without, you know, catapulting money into a hole and paying for fucking my builder and checker trade and all the rest of it. So we'll, we'll get stuck into a lot of um, off the tools challenges that we face as well on the group. So consider subscribing and join the Facebook group. But anyway, I've named this video Get Serious. And I wanted to just respond to a comment that was made, not on Trial Talk, it was another forum. And so basically somebody's posted up about how they're not earning the money that they thought they would be by now um, at this stage in their business. So they're 10 years in, they've been running for 10 years um, they've got a labourer and they're, they're quite busy, but they're just having a bit of a event, really, and just saying, look, I'm not earning the money I, was, I thought I'd be earning and so and so. But one of the top comments was, I won't name who, who you know, commented, but he basically said, there's no money in plastering anymore. Um, forget about plastering, you might as well become a sparky if you want to earn money and um, plasterers just aren't taken seriously anymore. So, and this comment got, got quite a few likes, which I was surprised about. So I just wanted to jump on and, and contrast that, those views because I think a lot of people might be feeling that way about the game, about trade, about plastering in general, which is heartbreaking. It's a shame. I mean, let's look at the facts. Okay. Let's contrast this idea and this ideology let's just look at the facts in the uk the plastering industry 2022 2.5 billion quid multi multi-billion pound industry guys in the uk so someone's earning fucking money and if it ain't you who is it somebody is earning money in the plastering game 2.5 billion pound industry in the uk 2022 so we know there's money to be made we know there's money passing hands. So to, to say, to just write plastering off and say, oh, it's fucking shit. It's not what it was. Plasters aren't taken seriously anymore. We've got to change our thinking because if we have these ideas and we've got that belief system that plasters aren't taken seriously anymore and we're not, we don't earn good money anymore. If you've got that belief system, then that's going to become your reality and that's going to become uh, your earnings and that's going to become how you live your life just getting by and scratching about and that's not what i want i don't know about you now i'm not jumped on here to be some big shot as you know if, you, if you're familiar with the channel and you watch my videos i'm not about being a gobshite and coming on here and being the big shot and the big i am as you know i was a fucking laborer so i started out sweeping floors mixing up muck um now I advanced from labourer to tradesman. Then I started my own plastering business. And am I creaming it in? Am I a millionaire? No, I'm not. But i tell you what I have done. I've managed to transition from being a labourer with no skills to running my own business. And my goal, my journey is to try and become better. And what I do is I look round in my environment or in my city where I live. And I look at the people that are earning money and that are doing well and I try and replicate what they're doing and it might not necessarily be other plasterers it might be just other tradesmen or just other small businesses and I'll try and replicate them and think well how are they doing it because what one man can do another can do it's not about who's 
fucking smart and who's got the most mathematical skill and all that crap. If you start to replicate and copy other successful people, other businesses that are doing okay, you know, these effects will rub off on you. You'll start getting results yourself. And I know that because I've done it. So I've gone from being um, somebody that's posted up on Gumtree um, looking for work, scratching around with uh, cheap customers, to somebody that's, that's then leveled up a little bit, built a reputation, and now I don't go hunting for work. The customers come to me because they only have to go online and they can see what I'm about and they can see the results that I, I get uh, with my plastering and the solutions that we, we offer people um, in my plastering business. And they think, okay, this is a man for the job. And half the time, I've won the job before I get in the door. And I, I don't tell you this to brag. And again, I'm not trying to jump on and be a big shot, nothing like that. I'm just trying to let you guys know that it is possible to do okay as a plasterer. So when you see these comments, if you're a young lad um, who've just come out of your time and you're considering a career in plastering, and you read these negative comments about how plastering's a bag of shit and you know we don't earn any money and it, we're not taken seriously. If Listen, if you want to be taken seriously, get serious. Get serious about your trade. Get serious about your career. Learn all there is to learn about plastering before you write it off and you say, oh, now this is rubbish. I'm going to become an electrician. There's going to be electricians out there that are struggling. And there's going to be electricians that are doing well. Same with plumbers. I've met plumbers that um, are living uh, paycheck to paycheck and that are struggling, driving around in rusty old vans um, and haven't got much work. And they're not taking things serious. And they're the ones that are struggling. And then you've got the, the other guys that are investing into their businesses. They're investing into um, training. They're investing into marketing. And they're, they, they're serious about their businesses and their trade and these are the people that you know you look at and you go oh, well they're just fucking lucky you know they had a foot up if you meet any tradesman who you think he's doing well and you have an honest chat with them the chances are they've not been given any money they've just bootstrapped their way to success by being disciplined and by taking a trade serious and learning all there is to learn so that's what this video is about. I just want to give you guys a little bit of encouragement, really, because you can do all right as a spread. You can do okay. And if, if you don't want to take my word for it, jump onto Trial Talk, Plasterers Help Group, and you'll see there's a number of plasterers on the group that are fucking smashing it. They're not just scraping by. They're not just paying bills and eating. They're smashing it, and they're doing well, and they're providing for their families. So... Let's contrast this idea of plastering shit. Uh, plasterers are all scruffy bastards and they don't earn any money because it's all bullshit. There's going to be people that struggle and there's going to be people that do well. And I tell you what, cream always rises to the top. And that's my journey is to look at these people that are doing good, try to replicate them. Am I there? No, I've not, I've not got there yet. And I, I do have weeks where I think, fuck me, what am I doing? And then I have other weeks where I'm smashing it and I'm earning, you know, decent money and I'm spoiling my kids and I'm able to take breaks and live a good life. But it's, as I say, it's a journey for me and I'm not there yet. But I know it's possible because I look to these people on the group and I see that it's possible. I can physically see that they're doing it and, and I can tell by just by talking to them that they're relaxed, they're confident, and they're sure of their trade because they've took the time to learn these skills. So it's easy to go online and um, you know go on some of the other forums, have a scroll through and read some of these comments about how plastering's a load of shit and you know, you get out of the trade, you're gonna smash your body to bits, you're not gonna earn any money. We all know plastering is hard on the body. We you know, there's no escaping that. But there's options, like we've got these tools today that will reduce fatigue, yeah? We've got the spats, the speed skims, we've got the spray machines. So there's options there. You don't have to be busting your nuts every day to put food on the table. 
there's options there. But the main thing is, give yourself some recovery time. You know, if you, if you do believe that plastering is just, you're just going to smash your body to bits, um, you're not going to earn any money, and it's all a waste of time, before you write it off, have a chat with the older boys that are in their 60s, that are physically strong, have no injuries, and that are busy and doing well and earning a good lifestyle and living a good life. You have to talk to these people, like Eric de Valmancy, um, before you write it off. Because there's a reason we acquire injuries. There's a reason. Um, there's a reason that we don't earn the money we want to earn. And you can't just blame the trade. You can't just say it's because of plastering. I chose the wrong trade. Because if you're an electrician or a carpenter or a plumber with that same attitude, you'd be shit at that as well. And that, that's, the, that's the honest truth. It's a bit of a pill to swallow. But if you're carrying that attitude around, it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter if you're a fucking physician. If you've got that negative belief system about your career and what you've chosen to do, then you're going to be shit at whatever you do. So we've got to change that thinking. Like I say, you can go online and you can have a look at these other forums and you can be put off. You can think, fuck plastering, it looks like a bag of crap. Well, everyone's negative. Um, everyone's abusive. Everyone's, you know, trolling each other. Why well, would I want to be a plasterer? So that's because you've gone to the wrong group. You've gone onto a banter page where people go off on there to offload and to vent and to have a moan and to post up pictures about cat bombing and stuff like that. That's only a small minority of blusterers, but these people, they're not taking their trade serious. And I want trial talk. Yes, you know, people will probably criticize it and say, oh, you know, you're boring and no one has a laugh. And we do have a laugh. It's just that we're not abusive. We've tried to create um, a line in the sand, if you like, on trial talk, where we say, look, that's it's below the belt. We're not going to tolerate that on the group. And it's not because we think we're, you know, fucking better than others or anything like that. It's just that we try and take the game serious because if you don't, it just becomes a banter page and the group and the YouTube channel will just be just another banter page where you go on to have a, a giggle and take the piss out of people. But if you're serious about advancing in your career, learning everything there is to learn and trying to develop yourself and develop your career in plastering, then join Trial Talk because that's what we're all about, guys. Okay, Just wanted to put that out there for you. If you're a young newbie you're coming into the trade or even if you've been in the game 20 years and you've just developed this shit attitude towards what you're doing look at the facts guys 2.5 billion pound industry you're in someone's earning money that somebody could be you with the right attitude consider subscribing and uh, don't forget to join the facebook group let me know your thoughts in the comments is it a shit trade the facts say differently don't they have a good week